In coming to Salk as a young assistant professor, Jonas himself was here and a very towering and imposing figure. He wasn't tall, but he was imposing because of his reputation. Not only uh, developed the first vaccine for polio virus, but he built the Salk Institute and he did it out of his own imagination and he built this beautiful place because he believed in it and he had the reputation and power to actually put something special together. Um, I believe that beyond polio that the Institute will be his long-lasting legacy. The impact of this Institute and the continuing research long uh, will continue after uh, all of the hard work that Jonas put it together it's been a true success. So he is the ultimate scientist in running an experiment, not just his own, but letting, building a place where others can actually run their own experiments. He believed in the Institute. He believed it was alive, that it had its own properties. It was dynamic. It was a living kind of organism, uh, and that it was a very dynamic environment. And it was a great place to do science, to do art, uh, to write books, to think, philosophy. He was a big thinker and wanted a place where big thinking could be done. Um, so there was a lot of vision and a lot of hope. He was a dreamer and he knew that you have to dream to create something new. I enjoyed uh, many walks with Jonas. He loved the idea that Darwin took walks and he used to have a walk through the corridors that he would take, often on his own, to think. But he loved company and he was delighted to have someone walk with him and I took many walks uh, along the corridors with Jonas just to talk and he loved to talk about the Institute life. He had these big ideas about the universe uh, and the nature of the human spirit um, and how people can make a difference. And he believed in people a lot. Um, and so I think Jonas felt that um, in some areas, like voting, one vote doesn't seem to make a big difference. But for ideas, one individual can have a very big impact. And Jonas was an idea person. And being here actually elevated my own personal view of how individuals and ideas and knowledge uh, can have a very big and important impact on science and humanity. So to me, his legacy is incredible. I don't know if he could fully see it, but it has been realized. Uh, and it's a huge honor to be able to be here and celebrate his 100th anniversary.